Hey guys, what's up? It is Elijah and welcome back to my channel. So I am currently not at my house as you can tell. Um, I'm at my grandma's house. If you guys didn't follow me on social media, don't follow me at all. You literally won't know anything that's happening unless you do. So follow me. Links in the description box. But my grandma recently moved to Arizona. Um, she got a house here and that's where I am right now. So today I thought I'd do a little video. It's gonna, I don't think it's gonna be too long because my skin's kind of like dry and like it needs some rejuvenating so i'm not gonna do too much makeup but i'm doing we're doing a chit chat get ready with me which i have not done one of these in literally forever and i kind of miss it um we're doing like a little q and a i'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite songs and just be talking about some little updates that you guys have missed i have my makeup here i'm not doing too much makeup yeah without further ado i like this video if you like it i'll leave my other videos in the description box and let's get on with this video Shh. Um, we're just gonna talk about a little bit of updates while they're doing makeup. Okay, so updates. Um, I j literally just said that my grandma moved out here, which is super, super cool, and I'm happy for her. She definitely got an amazing deal. Um, sorry if my eyebrows bother you, they bother me too. But it's still pretty echoey because she doesn't have furniture yet. The kids are at school, if you're wondering. And my grandma moved out here. My Well, obviously, we're still living here. Um... I feel like that update, there's no really like huge updates, really just everybody's moving to Arizona, which is like amazing. I'm using the Age Rewind Eraser Circles Concealer and Light to Medium, which I need a new one, obviously, because I'm moving out. But um, if you saw my social media as well, I was talking about dyeing my hair because Fallon cut her hair and lightened it and it looks so good on her. And I've been wanting to like cut my hair for a while. Like obviously I love my long hair. I really do. But it's kind of like, I don't know, I have a lot of like split ends and I kind of want to like chop it. I was thinking to maybe like right here so it can kind of just grow out itself and kind of cut it short. And I do want to dye my hair. I did say I want highlights, but my friends are convincing me to go like blonde in the way. But I did talk about it for a while. Like I actually thought about going blonde for a while. And then the funny thing is like Chase, if you know Lil Huddy, he tweeted about liking blondes. And then everybody's like, oh, well, let me go dye my hair. And I was like, I low-key have been wanting to dye my hair blonde for a long time. But my hair is like straight black. So I don't know if that'll like, you know, like, I feel like I'd have to get it professionally done if I want to actually go like blonde. I was like, if I want to like a shortcut to blonde, I could do like highlights, like blonde highlights, which is probably what I am going to do. So yeah, that's like the new hair situation because I've literally been talking about it, I feel like for so long. Um, I literally want to talk about this topic because I feel like I talk about it way too much on Twitter, which is I tweet about this person all the time, and if you guys follow me on Twitter, you know who, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm sorry for anybody who has my notifications on because I tweet about him too much, but it's fine. Peyton Mormeyer, Mormeyer, I don't know how to say his last name. I think I heard him say Mormeyer on his live stream once, but I could be pos I could possibly be 100% be wrong, but Peyton. Let me tell you a little story time. I tweeted this, I told my friends this because literally um, me, Tatiana, and my friend Yari, and Nyla is in this group chat, but she didn't like text it. We're in the, we're all in this group chat that um, me and Tatiana made because we were like obsessed with Chase, and I still am. Like he's such a bee, and I love him, but we were like obsessed with Chase to the point where we, we talked about him too much in this different group chat, which was like not related to him at all. It was related to the twins. So Tatiana was like, hey, let's make this group chat of me and you and Yari so we can like fangirl over Chase in this group chat and not like annoy the other people in this one. I was like, okay, here, we should do that. So we made the group chat and started like fangirling over Chase. Time went by and come to find out Chase is friends with this kid, this guy named Peyton. And I was like, he kind of looks familiar. And so I was like, he's cute. Follow his TikTok, you know, nothing abnormal. And I go to the group chat, I was like, hey guys, like Peyton's kind of cute. And then all of a sudden my friends are like shipping me with him, which is great, but I'm like not cute at all, but we won't talk about it. And um come to find out I was like wait this is the patent that Fallon sent me now here's the backstory to that Fallon was being shipped because Fallon gets shipped with every like you she gets shipped with somebody new every week which is kind of funny but <clears throat> but she's gorgeous I'm like I get it so she's being like shipped with Peyton at this time and she was like who the frick is Peyton <clears throat> sorry I'm like sick and like I'm booking her my nose but it's fine but she was like who the frick is Peyton and I was like, I don't know, like, I've never heard of that name. I only know a Peyton that's in, like, the like the limelight fandom. And she was like, okay, well, I'm gonna go find out who he is. So I was like, okay, cool. So she found out who he was, and I was like, okay, like, let's send me his app so I can see what he looks like. She was like, okay, she sends me his app. And then I was like, oh, he's kind of cute. So I followed his Instagram, and I've been following his Instagram for a while. If you watched my, um, my most recent What's on My iPhone video, you saw, like, his picture pop up in my feed. And I've been following him a little bit longer before that as well, which is kind of weird. But, like, I would see him in my feed not think anything of it. Like, I was like, oh, he's cute. That's why I followed him. Because, like, it's not, it's normal to follow somebody you think is cute, you know? 
And then when I was like, uh, Tatiana, like, what's, like, what's Peyton's Instagram? And she told me, and I was like, wait, I've been following him for, like, that long, and I didn't even know. And, like, he's really cute, but, like, he's 15, and I'm 16. I don't think that's creepy, but some people might, but it's fine. Um, okay, um, Chuck E. Cheese, Shane Dawson situation. Now, if I'm being completely honest, I did not watch that conspiracy video until, like, six days after it was out, and you're probably like, Elijah, what the frick is wrong with you? Like, it's Father Shane, like, you should have already watched it, and I know, but I, um, I didn't have, like, stable Wi-Fi at my house at the time, so I was like, I'm not gonna watch it while it's, like, gonna glitch, because I want to watch it all the way through with no interruptions, you know what I mean? So I didn't watch it, and uh, when my grandma moved here, she, like, had Wi-Fi when she um, first moved in, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna just, like, stay here, get YouTube done, get school done, because it needs to be done, I'm not trying to, like, flunk and, like, not graduate, you know? And then Talia came over for um, President's Day, the, the three-day weekend, and she was like, Elijah, like, have you watched Shane's new video? And I was like, no, sadly. She was like, you're lying, right? And I was like, literally, no, I haven't watched it because I didn't want to, like, watch it while it was, like, going to glitch, you know? And she was like, okay, we're going to watch it right now. And that video is entirely crazy. I literally just watched it the other day. I watched it, like, six days after it was uploaded and everybody was already talking about it. Like, I saw people talk about it. I, all I saw was people saying, like, oh, Chuck E. Cheese is going to sue Shane and things like that. I never, like, heard exactly what the conspiracy was. Yeah, the pizza part is kind of freaky, but the gambling, I'm not really surprised. Like, certain games, yeah, I could definitely see how it's, like, training your kids to, like, learn how to gamble. But at the same time, like, not all kids know exactly what they're doing, so it's, I don't know. That I, asked, um, I asked you guys on my Instagram to send me questions, and I'm going to answer those right now. First question is a light and rising. If you guys don't know what that is, that is the ship name my friends gave me and Peyton, which I didn't ask for. Um... Specifically, um, yes and no exists before it starts rising. Um, so no, it's not. But, you know, you can hit me up if you want. But yes, um, conclusion, yes and no exists before it's rising. Okay, actually, now we're talking about the fact that I, I'm attacked. Um, literally... I just want to yarn and talk to you. You're probably watching this because I'm going to force you to watch it because your questions are in here. But why is it that I literally, all I said was literally, li I'm not even kidding. Like, we, as I said, we have the group chat for Chasing Peyton um, and Yari's TikTok crush, which I won't mention because she probably doesn't want me to expose her like that. But we talk about them all the time. And is it that every time I say like, oh, like Peyton's cute or like he's a bean or things like that, I'm literally yelled at with ship, a couple, we stand, we stand a couple, and it kind of makes me feel uncomfortable, because he doesn't even know I exist, like, if he knew I existed, that would be completely different, because he knows that I'm, like, breathing, you know, in a sense, but he literally doesn't even know that I exist, so I kind of feel uncomfortable when they say that, but, I mean, it's cute, I just, like, on the real though, like, Peyton, hit me up, please, <laughs> like, I'm here. I know I'm ugly, but like we could be friends at least. Like you have great music taste. I was literally just listening to Peyton's music playlist and like he has some fire ass music. I'm not gonna lie. Um, mascara's done. I didn't even tell you what mascara I use. I use the water resistant cover girl last blush fusion fusion, can't English, and the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Waterproof Mascara, which they're both really good. Kat asked, which Dolan twin is your favorite? By the way, I love you. I love you too. And my favorite Dolan twin is Ethan. I'm in Ethan's lane and always have been. Um, people literally attack me for saying that, but like, they're twins. So technically, I like Grayson too. Like, obviously, I love Grayson. Like, they have my entire heart. They can literally, like, anybody that I support that's a guy that I think is like really attractive can literally take my heart and like throw it down the stairs and I would apologize for it you know um which isn't good at all but like you can't tell me you disagree with me <laughs> next question out of all of the merch you have which one is your favorite um currently I've been wearing my Alicia hoodie a lot it's not my favorite well obviously like I will all of my merch is my favorite but I've been wearing my Alicia and Hudson hoodie a lot um, if you haven't watched my last video, which is my merchandise collection, go watch it. Links in the description box. But I've been wearing my um, little hoodie merch and my Alicia merch a lot. Um, mainly because those are the only hoodies that I brought with me. Because I was wearing my... Actually, yeah, I, they're the only ones that I have here with me right now. And I've literally been wearing them 
every day because they're so comfortable and like we stand. Taylor asked, she said, how did you get into Samuel and Cole? If you don't know who that is, that is Sam and Colby. Um, Taylor, you know that's bullcrap because you're the one who literally tweeted about them all the time. And then I got into them and then I became obsessed and then we talked every day about them and then I got their merch. So, um, that's that. Can we, okay, I literally had the saddest dream. I don't know if it was yesterday or today. I literally don't remember when this was, but I literally had a dream where I, I don't know, it felt real and I was kind of sad about it. But when I woke up, I was like, Jesus Christ, thank God that's not real. Um, thank you, Jesus. But I had this dream where, um, I walked into the... I was literally in the kitchen, but it wasn't our kitchen. It was, like, somebody else's kitchen. So I walked into this kitchen, and I saw my Samuel, my, my Samuel. I saw my XPLR, Samuel Colby sticker, because when you order XPLR merch, you get a sticker, the X sticker. I saw my sticker was, like, cut. It was just, like, cut as the X. I, and my sister's sitting right there, and I look at her. I was, like, did you cut my sticker? She was, like, yeah. And so I look at it. At first, I wasn't mad, and then I saw that she cut the part where it says Sam and Colby off. And I was, like, you cut Sam and Colby off? She was, like, sorry. Yeah, I was kind of really sad about that. But, uh... I'm using the Elf highlighter in the shade White Pearl or... The highlighter I use, I get, I don't really get questions, but I'd rather just tell you. I literally use three different highlighting brushes. Cause all the kids are depressed. Nothing ever makes sense. I'm not feeling alright. It's okay. It's no thanks. Also, follow me on Instagram. I post kind of cute pictures, you know. Um, just ignore the comments because my friends love tagging Peyton because they think my captions are about him, but I swear they're from songs. But it's fine. They love me, I guess. One more thing of powder, which I do use the Revlon Pulp Photo Ready Translucent Powder. It's for, um, it's mainly for when you take pictures, and I do take pictures a lot when I'm wearing makeup, so I just like it all over my face. It takes a lot of the shine away. It does not take the highlight away, I promise. It just makes it more, like, not too blind. And my makeup is done, so we're gonna do one more song. Um, let's choose a song and see if we can play. I need chapstick, but I forgot about how we'll talk about it. But um, shout out to freaking Chase and Peyton for getting me literally addicted to this song. Let me tell you how I come through with the one, two, three, shit like telling the truth. You the bad bitch, and she average. I'm a sad bitch, go home with you more. Yes, that is this video. I hope you guys liked it. Like it if you did and want more videos like this because this was kind of fun talking to a camera because I do it all the time anyways. I'll link my Spotify playlist below as well as Peyton's because he has really good music too that I usually get a lot of my inspo from my playlist for. So I'll mix it up with you guys. Subscribe if you're new because that would be great and we hit a thousand. Whoa. Um, yes, follow my social medias to be updated with me because I only post once a week on my main channel and I literally don't vlog because my life isn't interesting. So I think that's all. Let me know if you guys want more videos like this because I'll do them more if you want. I kind of miss it. But yes, I will see you guys next week for a new video. And yeah, bye.